storage for life. What's up everybody, it's Nick McCallis here of E3 2014 and we are covering Dead Island 2. We are here at Burnt Game Director of Dead Island 2. Where is Dead Island 2 taking place? In California. Why did you guys go with California? Because we wanted to take Dead Island to the best known, most beautiful and uh, uh, iconic location on this planet and hey, California. Is it all throughout California or certain cities? Uh, it's certain areas. Uh, we, we call them by the, the, the most prominent city. So one area we're talking about uh, is uh, LA and the other one is parts of San Francisco. And there's some more, but we're not re revealing that yet, sorry. Definitely looking forward to hearing more about that. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the story of Dead Island 2? Uh, the story is a strange beast, because one of the cool things about the Dead Island 2 is that it has no ending. Oh, it's wow. literally endless. And that means it doesn't have an, a linear narrative like you're used to, you know, yeah. like the first game. Yes. The first game, uh, you know, at the end, uh, it's over. You escape, the nuke drops or whatever, and then that's it. And you can, can play again, but that means you play through the narrative again, and that we, we, we didn't want that. So what right. we have is basically repeatable bits of story okay. spread throughout the world. And what can we expect as far as zombies? Um, a lot. We have everything that that Dead Island 1 had. Uh, we stole a bunch from the other Dead Island games too, <laughs> <laughs> like Epidemic, took some inspiration. And uh, we have our own take on what should be in California as zombies. So we have more. And what can we expect as far as online multiplayer with Dead Island 2? Um, the facts are that we have eight players, okay. which is cool. So we have more, because more players means more fun. It's a sandbox game, it's open world. That means uh, the more people you have around you, the more mayhem you have, and that's cool. Because that is also part of the narrative. Like, like what people want is the, the opportunity to, to make their own stories. There I was, and this stuck, and I had this gun, and then <laughs> explosion, and boom, blood rain, everybody dead. That's the, the kind of stories that we're looking for. And. Uh, uh, what we also have is um, what we call seamless multiplayer that you can play alone. I mean, if you insist, you can also unplug your console or your PC and play without any connection at all. But as soon as you're online, other people will drop into your game. And what can we expect us in terms of weapons for Dead Island 2? Uh, everything you would expect in California, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Which that anything can happen in California. Well, so. Lots of guns. Lots of guns. For example, uh, a bunch of special weapons. We have uh, something that didn't exist in the first game is motorized weapons okay. that you can craft, like out of a lawnmower and uh, machetes and uh, a um, poison mod. You could craft a poisonous zombie mowing thing. That sounds not the, awesome. Not the official name. Right. I just made that up. Still sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and when can we expect to see Dead Island 2 on store shelves and on what platforms? Uh, platforms are all next. No, what's the current gen? New, new gen. Sorry. New gen, yeah. That's a approved term. New gen. <laughs> all new gen platforms, meaning Xbox, PlayStation 4, and uh, PC. And it's spring 15. All right, well, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I got to see it, and it looked amazing. So thank you for your time, Bert. And we're looking forward to Dead Island 2.